Well, happy New Year. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. We got a few things to cover. Um, first of all, it is looking as though people are saying that Megan Thee Stallion and Partisan Fontaine has probably broken up. Uh, they've noticed that Megan took off the pictures that had her and him in it. And also, she did not post for his birthday. Uh, that's what people were saying. I didn't really notice. I thought she did, but I didn't really notice. Um, I'm just putting that out there because I'm seeing people saying it. I don't know whether they broke up or not, but I'm going to tell you one thing. I hope they did. I've never really liked Partisan for her. I think Partisan's a bully. I think Partisan thinks he's, a, you know, some tough guy. And I'm sorry, he looks over-aggressive since, since he's bigger than Megan. He looks like the type that will be over-aggressive. So, um, hopefully that did happen. I never liked them together anyway. Um, this Martina Marie looks like <laughs> Martina Snow. <laughs> whatever she called herself, Martina the Snow. Um, whatever. Uh, she put out a song to the Cry Baby beat. She's talking about the hotties. She's talking about Megan. You know, Carl, you know, stop putting out artists. If you want to sign artists, I have no problem with that. You have to continue to eat and feed your family, what have you. But stop putting out artists that sound like Megan or who's dissing Megan. You know, the, these artists that you have put out now, Erica Banks and this Martina Marie, they're not better than Megan Thee Stallion. So please stop thinking that you can just throw anybody out there just to diss Megan. The only people who thinks she sounds good or thinks she's better than Megan are people who don't like Megan. This girl is not better than Megan Thee Stallion. All right. She might be better than Erica Banks, but neither one of them are anywhere near Megan Thee Stallion. So if you're saying you have no issue, this, that, and the other, and that's not why you don't know how it went left. Well, if you don't know how it went left, you need to stop doing what you're doing right now. I know that much. Because you will have no chance of ever rekindling anything with Megan Thee Stallion. Um, congratulations to Cian Green. Uh, it won an award. Um, I forgot the name of, of, the, of the award. However, I think it's like um, UB, the UB Awards, something like that. Urban Brands, I believe. And they won Rap Record of the Year with C and Green. Her record with Wayne and Jersey Drake. And I thought that record... I, I seriously thought that record would have went to number one. I thought it was a great record. I thought it was one of the better rap records of the year. You know, I think Up was very good. Um, I thought C and Green, because they had the three goats on there... I thought that that record was going to go to number one. Um, what else are we talking about here? So we got Megan. Okay, so the Nicki Minaj case. And like I stated last time before when we talked about it briefly, I said I thought that this upcoming court date would be the last court date. That's what I always felt. And... The court date before this, we found out that Jennifer said, you know, she had dementia. And now, uh, Nicki Minaj, it looks as though her, it looks like though her testimony has finally, you know, uh, been made public. And according to Nicki Minaj, Jennifer contacted her first. Now, you know, I'm not taking any sides. I'm just reporting what, you know, seems to be have been reported in court. It looks as though Nicki Minaj basically said she never called Jennifer. She's saying that she did not offer Jennifer money. She's saying that Jennifer called her and told her that there's going to be a problem, that, that, that this uh, case could be a problem for her and her husband. They could have a big problem. And according to his testimony, Nicki Minaj said he may have a big problem, but I do not. <laughs> so, and she said he would have to live with whatever 
consequences happen from him admitting to something he did not do. Now, also according, uh, looks as though this looks to be Nikki's statement. It also, she also says, um, let's, I'll, I'll try to read this here. Uh, she said, I have no doubt the plaintiff wanted to, oh, I'm sorry, I cannot read that, but she's basically saying the plaintiff wanted money. <laughs> Wanted to speak on behalf of, uh, but can't really read that. But um, what it's basically saying is she knew that the plaintiff wanted money. The way she was sounding, like she wanted uh, Nikki to offer her money. Then when she found out Nikki was not going to offer the money, she then said, well, according to Nikki, according to the statement, she then said, well, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. And then Nicki Minaj also stated in here that Jennifer Huff basically said it could have been an understanding. I'm not saying it didn't happen, but it could have been a misunderstanding. And if she said, <laughs> if that is in court, if that's in court, stated in court, and she said that, wow. Uh, I'm not saying that it didn't happen. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Nikki then says, I could not believe what I had just heard. I could not believe what I had just heard that she had just basically admitted to exaggerating or possibly lying about something that my husband has been dealing with, something that almost ruined his life. So um, I'm thinking after this is after the, uh, you know, this is looked over. I believe they're going to toss this out. And I said it last time, once I was seeing all the documents. Now, like I said, if Jennifer was getting uh, bribed or bullied, what have you, I am definitely not for anyone bullying anybody, especially a woman. But if the court hears it and they throw it out, there's really going to be nothing else that, that could be done at that point. You're going to have to say that Nicki Minaj is innocent. All right. And like I said, as things were going on, I had started to hear more of the testimony. And I'm like, uh, this isn't going anywhere. So we're going to see what happens with that. It looks as though Nicki Minaj has the upper hand. Uh, her and Kenneth Petty. As far as the sentencing goes, that's going to be the sentencing for some, totally that's the sentencing for, I believe it's the not registering or what have you. So we'll find out about that later on. And when's the sentence in March now? I think they uh, re up, they rescheduled for like March or something like that. So we'll find out what happens with that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's why I wanted to go over and make sure you guys understood you know, exactly what took place. Bringing it to you from an unbiased place. When we don't have an agenda. We're not biased towards one person. Just strictly giving you the facts. Alright. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe. And share this video with your friends.